Case number 48 is pretty much identical except it's the mirror and it's the it's another bat pattern, but it's flying towards you, I guess. Anyways, the algorithm that you need to orient this bat pattern to the top is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, R, B prime, R prime, B. And there it's oriented. Case number 49 consists of a cross with two bumpers on the side. And the algorithm that you need to orient the pieces to the top is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, 2, R. And there it's oriented. Here we have case number 50. This one also consists of a cross with headlights to the left and instead of the bumpers being here they are up on top and bottom. And the algorithm that you need to orient them to the top is R U2 R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 U2 R and there it's oriented. Here we have case number 51. It consists of a cross with two filled in corner pieces. And the algorithm that you need to orient the pieces to the top with the car and the headlights is R2 D R prime U 2 R D prime R prime U 2 R prime and there it's oriented. Here we have case number 52. It is what's called most people call the chameleon because it has the eyes on the side like a chameleon does. And the algorithm that you need to orient the pieces to the top is R B R prime F R B prime R prime F prime and there you have it oriented. Here we have what most people call the peanut or the bow tie. And this algorithm is very simple so the algorithm that you need to orient the pieces to the top is X U R prime U prime L U R U prime lowercase R prime and there it's oriented. Here is fish pattern number one. It is where you have the fish flying or swimming away from you with one dot here, one dot here, and one dot here. This is a very simple algorithm and that algorithm to orient the pieces to the top is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, 2, R. And there it's oriented. Here we have case number 55. It is where you have the fish swimming towards you with one dot here, one dot here, and one dot here. And the algorithm that you need to orient them is R, U, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R prime. And there they're oriented. Here we have case number 56. Um, most people call it the stealth because it looks like a stealth airplane. Anyways, you have a dot here and a dot here. And the algorithm that you need to orient these pieces is lowercase r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase r prime, 
R U R prime U prime R prime and there it's oriented. Here we have the last and final OLL case. It is case number 57. I like to call it the H because of obvious reasons. And it has a dot here and a dot here. And this algorithm is the inverse algorithm of the stealth algorithm, which I just showed you. And the algorithm that you need to orient them to the top is R U R prime U prime lowercase R R prime U R U prime R prime and it's oriented. Congratulations! You now know all 57 OLL algorithms. They are very easy once you practice them and you can now proceed to part four of my Rubik's Cube Jessica Friedrich method tutorial which is PLL permutation of the last layer and if you like my tutorials you can please subscribe and see you at the next section